Okay, welcome back. So now we've got module two and we're going to look at who's your ideal client, who's your target audience. And the fact is that if you're developing a course for scuba diving, you're probably going to have totally different information and criteria than if you were delivering a course in business coaching. So by completing module one, you may already you know, start to have a fair idea about who your target market is. Now, it's really important to be clear about your target market. Now, how can you best serve that client group? Where and what is your specific skill set? Who do you like to work with? Target your ideal clients who are ready to work with you. You know, those who see the value in what it is that you can actually do for them. Consider how you can position your program alongside other products that you might be offering. So make sure your program leverages your time and your skill set. Something to keep in mind is that your ideal participant should also be your ideal client. You want your ideal participant, you know, when they take action and let's say they graduate from doing your course, they can actually go on to maybe become one of your one-to-one -one clients. Or maybe they become a member of your VIP group or a mastermind group or maybe a future JV partner. So JV is a joint venture partner. And the beauty about this is if your client has said yes to you once because they've taken your online course and you've built a relationship with them and they've found value from your training, then they're much more likely to do further business with you and probably your one-to-one -one clients or your VIP groups or your mastermind groups are going to be upsells and they're going to be more financially rewarding for you and you know also more rewarding for your client because they're going to get your personal time. Now a good thing to do is actually to get buy-in from your clients before you're going to sell the course. So actually test the market and you can ask people you know how many people will actually want to buy it? A great potential testing strategy might to create a free mini course. Maybe it's a mini email course to test your market. You could actually also pre-sell your training and see how many people would be interested in doing that. Maybe you want to do a poll on Facebook or Twitter or use some form of social media.